hello guys welcome back to crypto watch today we're going to discuss and i'm going to show you how to buy crypto with your credit card now you have us dollars you have naira you have inr you have pesos you have whatever currency in whatever country you're currently in and you need to buy bitcoin you need to buy usdt you need to buy ethereum you need to buy bnb and you do not know how to do it but good news is that today i'm going to show you how to use your credit card to make purchase to make crypto purchase on the binance exchange that's what we're going to do today i'm going to guide you through a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how you can use your credit card to make purchases uh, of crypto on binance now before we proceed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can get notified whenever i drop a new video today we're moving forward the first thing is you log in into your account now this is my account this is my account uh, this is my crypto account where uh, I buy sell trade ethereum USDT and you know all sorts now once you log in this is the dashboard you have the Binance logo here the exchange you have the exchange option you have the Academy you have the broker cloud launchpad labs trust wallet charity institutional services decks research you know, all these options on uh, your account you see the trade you see the derivative you see the finance you see the nft this is a new feature which we'll talk about in a later video so here you see buy and sell crypto in minutes join the world's largest crypto exchange you can click buy now immediately or uh, you go straight to the trade and make your purchase through p2p through margin uh, advanced classic you no know, stock tokens different ways for you to make purchases on the binance exchange but for today we're going to be uh buying crypto we're going to use usd to buy crypto so you see the options if, let me go back so first thing you do is you come here hold on let's go back to make it clearer so the first thing you're going to do is to come to this option you see the buy crypto options so you first thing you, you do is come down and you change it to whatever currency you're currently using so i'm using usd i have a us dollar card so i'm using the usd to uh make a purchase so there are two there are three ways i'm going to talk about p2p trading in the later video and third party payment but for the purpose of this video we're going to be talking about how to buy crypto with credit or debit card so you click on credit debit card and you take it to the next page now this is a very very simple process all you just have to just do is uh input what's the whatever amount of crypto you want to buy and then input your card details and then you make a purchase now this is the page for the buy crypto or uh, you see the other history in on the other history you'll be able to see uh the purchases i've made on my account with crypto hold on let's quickly go through it and check out the purchases I've made on my account now uh, you can see I've used my credit card to buy lots and lots and lots of USD I bought 1,300 USD to 1,300, 700 so you can see I'm an average crypto user I buy lots and lots of USDT so when I buy the USDT okay these ones were filled completed completed filled 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 and completed so now once I uh, buy the USDT, then I convert it into Bitcoin. So that's how I've been stacking Bitcoin for a long time. So you, it's even two pages worth of uh, data. So since uh, 2020, 12.04, that was the first time I bought 100, 100, 500, 700, 800, 500. So this is how I've been buying crypto. It shows my order history. So now let's go back to the buy page. Here we are the buy page where you see you can buy with your credit or debit card. So available limit depending on your verification status. So what this is telling me is that I cannot buy more than two hundred thousand USD worth of crypto daily. You can see the account limit daily remaining two hundred thousand USD, monthly remaining two million USD. So in a month, I cannot purchase more than two million US dollars worth of crypto. So if I want to upgrade that. I will need to uh, complete more verification but that is not what we're doing now so we're going to use our uh, debit card how much crypto do I want? let's say 500 I want to buy 500 worth of crypto so I'm not buying Bitcoin directly what I want to buy is 
USDT. So I want to buy USDT. So basically, they charge uh, five hundred. They charge eight dollars for uh, transfer for converting your US dollars to USDT, which is I know kind of fair. Considering the last time I had to uh, withdraw money, uh, you know, transfer funds. That is, I was trying to transfer the Ethereum token for the Lionel Messi acts on the Ethereum blockchain release. release. Uh, I was charged 20 US dollars, 20 USDT actually as a transaction fee. So I feel give or take eight dollars is quite fair for the transaction fees on uh, converting from 500 dollars to 492. So the next thing you do is continue. So now this is my Visa card. Of course, it's going to be blurred when I'm uh, editing this video, but I am no longer using this card. So I'm going to change the card and add a new card. So enter the card number. Okay, and the CVV. Uh, okay, that's good. Okay, add card. Great. Confirm. So now my card has been added to my Binance account. So all I have to do is click on the continue button and then the process begins. So the fee is $10. So I'm going to receive 477. Wow, this is actually much. They're charging about, uh, I think, $23 or $22. The Binance is charging $8. These ones are charging $10. That's about $18. Eighteen dollars, or give or take, but I don't, I don't know where the other four dollars is coming from at this point. But basically, I am paying five hundred US dollars, and I'm going to get four hundred and seventy-seven USDT. This is, this is, this is robbery. But this, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to have to show you how to do this on your own. So this is the kind of fees you should expect when you're trying to convert your US dollars to USDT on Binance Exchange. So you click on confirm. And the process goes on and on and on and on and on and on and money the funds are deducted from my card so it's been processed it's been processed uh, okay now I've got a notification on my app that the buy with card is successful and I've been able to purchase so we we'll go to transaction history to go and check it out so on my app, I got an email from Binance that my buy with card has been successful and I got a text from my bank that 500 US dollars has been deducted. It's still processing here, but on my account, it has been successful. So yeah, th basically this is how to, let me refresh the page. This is how to uh, use your crypto credit card, to use your uh, bank credit card to make a purchase. Yeah, it see it has completed. To make a purchase on your Binance account, to buy USDT, to buy Bitcoin, to buy whatever currencies you want to buy. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope you can now make purchases on crypto on your Binance account. So uh, I will see you guys in the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, uh, follow us on social media. I'll be there to and I'll be there in the comment section to so answer any questions you have. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.